Hello again everybody, Miss Dayana here and today's Fitbit is we can plan a healthy meal. So, we know that we need to eat from each of the five food groups in order to give our bodies the nutrients that we need in order to be strong. Look at the MyPlate poster. Did you know that there are some food groups on the MyPlate poster that we are actually supposed to eat more than others? Can you guys think of which food groups on the MyPlate poster we're supposed to eat more of? I give you guys a couple seconds to think about it. What do you guys think? You think we're supposed to eat more dairy? Are we supposed to eat more vegetables, more fruits, more grains, or more protein? What do you guys think? So we are actually supposed to eat more fruits and vegetables on our my plate. So for this activity, I'm gonna go through each of the five food groups on the my plate poster and I want you and a partner to work in teams and you're going to name one food item for each food group to add to your very own lunch or dinner my plate, okay? So I'm gonna have you guys to get with your partners and let's get started. Okay, now for instruction. Oh, I'm ready. I'm recording now. Okay. So for this activity, you're gonna to have to listen carefully, okay? I want you to get in a group with your partner and I'm going to hand you a blank piece of paper and something to write with. On the piece of paper, you're going to write your very own my plate, kind of like how this one looks right here, okay? Once you have your own my plate written out, I'm going to go through each of the five food groups and I want you and your partner to agree on one food item to include in your my plate for dinner, okay? So let's get started. So the first food group that we are going to do is dairy. I'll give you guys one minute, you and your partner to agree on a dairy item to include in your my plate. I'll give everybody a second to get that figured out. And then now that all the groups have their items picked for the dairy group, we're going to stand up it's okay if you stand next to your partner and we're going to perform a physical activity. So for dairy, let's do 20 jumping jacks, okay? So all together, get ready. Make sure you have enough space between your partner and the desk so that you don't bump into anything. And let's get started. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right, let's stop. Let's take a break for a second. Let's give our heart a chance to catch up with our bodies. And now let's move on to another food group. So we've done dairy. So how about we go down here to protein? I want you and your partner to think about a protein food item that you want to add to your my plate for dinner. I'll give you a minute to think about that. All right, so giving you guys a minute to think about what protein you wanna add. What protein ideas are you guys thinking about adding to your my plate? There's chicken. There's eggs, there's beans. There's lots of different protein options that you can add. I think for my, my plate poster, I would add chicken for my protein. So now that all the groups have identified their food item for the protein group, the physical activity that we are going to do will be high knees for 15 seconds. So let's get ready, let's stand up. Make sure we have enough space between ourselves, our partners, and our environment so we don't bump in anything. And make sure we bring our knees almost up to our chest. All right, almost done. And let's stop. 
How you guys feeling after that one? I am feeling a little tired, I will say. So we are going to continue doing this until you guys have been able to identify a food item from all five of the food groups of your My Plate poster. Once you guys have identified all items of the food groups from your My Plate poster, I want you guys to stand up. I want you to show up the class. What are you having for dinner tonight? So always remember, eating healthy foods from all five of the food groups is important to help our bodies to grow and get the nutrients that we need. Now, we don't have to have all five food groups for every single meal, but by the end of the day, we should have at least eaten something from all five food groups. All right, I'll see you guys next time.